Okay, I've been asked by uh, a number of students right now <clears throat> to, uh, to answer this question. This is eight, question 8, part D, from October, November 2016, paper 4, variant 2. Okay, so this is question 8, part D. Now, all lengths are in centimeters. PQ, RS, all lie on the circle. They lie in the circumference of the circle. PR and QS intersect at Y. PY is 2X and YS is X. The area of triangle YRS is 5 over 12 X times X minus 1. And the area of triangle YQP is equal to X times X plus 1. All right, now find the value of X. Okay, now there's a few things that we can see here. I know that these two triangles are similar. How do I know they're similar? Well, I know that this angle is the same as this angle because they both stand on the same arc. They're both standing on RQ. RSQ, RPQ. RSQ, RPQ. RQ, they're both standing on RQ. And similarly, I know that SRP is the same angle as SQP. SRP, SQP. R and Q are both on the circumference. S and P are also on the circumference. So the angle R and Q are both standing on okay, the chord or the arc SP. So here we have <clears throat> okay, here we have a pair of similar triangles. If you prove that two of the two of the angles are the same, of course the third is the same. We know that this is the same as that. They're vertically opposite. So these are two similar triangles, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw this smaller triangle the same way up as this triangle. Okay, I'll draw it down over here somewhere. Like try and make it look similar to it. Because they are similar. But just smaller. Okay, something like that. Just so this is okay now I know this is the one. Let me just get my pen back. This is the one with two lines. This is the one with one line, and this is the one with the X I've made. So in this triangle that I'm trying to, to replicate over here, the one with the X is where Y is, the one with the one line is where R is, and the one with the two lines is where S is. Okay? And I know that SY is X. Okay. Now, I know the area of, well, I know they're similar, and I know the ratio of the lengths is equal to 2 to 1. This is twice the length of that. Okay? The ratio of the lengths is 2. All right, so now we know that we, we're told the area of the two triangles. Okay, YQP is the bigger one. So I could say that the ratio of the areas, okay, that's the area of the big triangle. YQP, that's the area of the small triangle, is equal to the ratio of the lengths squared. The ratio of the areas is the square of the ratio of the lengths. So we have now linked these two equations, these, these things together. We've linked something together to make an equation, and we can now try to find what X is. So you have X of X times X plus 1 over 5 twelfths times sorry, 5 twelfths x times x plus 1 is equal to 4. Okay? So you have x, x plus 1 is equal to 5 twelfths times 4. Okay, now 5 twelfths times 4. They cancel out. You're left with 5 over 3. 5 over 3 x times x t mistake x minus 1 x minus 1 okay so if I cross multiply if I multiply both sides by 3 I have 3x squared plus see the 3 is multiplied there 3x equals 5x squared minus 5x okay I've multiplied both sides by 3 which kind of jumped two steps there now I can bring the x squares to one side so I'll have on this side I'll have uh, 5x squared minus 3x squared. On this side, I'll have 3x plus 8x 
in fact, I should bring them all together in one side. So let me just do that because it, it's going to be a quadratic equation. Okay, so there's just no number terms. So I'll have I'll bring everything to this side. So I'll have equals zero. I'll have zero on that side, and I'll have um, five x squared minus three x squared, which is two x squared. And I'll have minus five x minus three x, which is minus eight x, which is the same as saying uh, x squared minus four x equals zero because you can divide by four. So you have x times x minus four equals zero. So either x equals zero, which is not possible, or x equals four, which is possible. And let's hope that works. If you're in an exam and you don't have a mark scheme, of course, you can check if it works. All right, if x equals 4, then this is going to be 4 and this is going to be 8. Okay, that's twice. Well, of course, it would be anyway. But let's see if this works. Um, if x equals 4, you're going to have 5 over 12 times 4 times 3, which gives you 5. And here you'll have um, 4 times... 5 which is equal to 20 and the ratio of the areas is going to be 4 which is sensible so it seems like we have got the right answer here okay and um, I can check with the mark scheme and make sure and then I'll post this video thank you very much for watching